uh, excuse me for uh, uh, maybe some uh, some sarcastic comments here but it, it sounds a little funny why would you want money in hand uh, 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 when you don't need it to meet any expenses uh, versus money in the stock market i mean i'm i've i've sort of uh, experienced this in 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 areas where people say that well uh, uh, we don't know uh, the stock market can go to zero tomorrow uh, so so let's just book everything get a feel of it and then maybe we can go back in again i mean there are such arguments uh, but uh, just to understand uh, why this is this is actually a, a not so rewarding way to think about it right i would say think of it like this uh, there are there are three types of examples that you can consider and then evaluate example number 1 is uh, look at let's say real estate as an asset class now the interesting thing about real estate is that you don't get to know uh, the value of real estate on a daily basis right so you don't know whether you are sitting on profit or not right uh, uh, so if us elections are happening what happens to your real estate price you don't know right that's that's one one challenge with real estate uh, mark to market doesn't happen on a on a minute by minute basis uh, plus the volatility in in the value of real estate is not very high i mean you can go up or down maybe 20 30% in a year but it's unlikely that real estate will suddenly go down 95% in a year despite the fact that there has been no earthquake which has brought the house down or something and uh, and it it is rarely the case that within a six month period real estate will give you a five bagger return or whatever right so 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 in that way real estate is less volatile and you don't get to know about the mark to market profits unrealized profits uh, in your real estate investments on a daily basis on a minute by minute basis as a result uh, profit booking obviously doesn't make sense uh, for an investor in real estate and and hence uh, you don't find people fortunately you don't find people who bought a very good property at a very right point of time and hence it was a great asset but then 3 years later let's say if it was a three bedroom apartment they sold one bedroom to book profits and another 3 years later they sold the second bedroom and then the kitchen then the bathroom and then 20 years down the line you don't see the challenge of investor sitting with one square feet of a great asset uh, after having bought 2000 square feet 20 years ago right that doesn't happen thankfully because you cannot uh, cannot do profit booking but but if you were to do profit booking that's a risk uh, in a way that real estate uh, investments run even if you pick up the right investment right now consider the 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 polar polar opposite of this which is let's say gambling right so you go to goa in a casino or let's say las vegas wherever uh now the the difference between real estate and gambling is in gambling you can know your mark to market on a second by second or minute by minute basis right uh, in a casino plus the volatility is very high to the extent that there is no fundamental reason why you should say i'm downside protected even in the worst case scenario that even in the worst case scenario here you might say that i am gambling if hell breaks loose i might lose everything that that i have on the table in front of me right so so that's uh, that's gambling for you and hence if you are playing on pure luck it might actually make sense to say that when you have a uh, a uh, 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 some unrealized profit right book it keep it in your pocket secure your capital and then everything else you can put to risk right that's a that's a that's a way to approach uh, the psychology of not being invested at all points of time and having money in hand when you are gambling it makes sense actually if if i were if i were to go to goa and uh, i have lost money every time but if i were winning it ever then i would have certainly done that if i enter with 10000 rupees into a casino i would first try to make 10000 rupees as a realized profit and then uh, have fun with the rest of it right that's that's gambling for you you're playing on pure luck uh, interestingly even if you are the are the best gambler gambling is not a consistent wealth compounding engine right nobody compounds wealth and why don't we do it because of this particular reason right you you cannot have a fundamental reason to stay invested in a high quality asset and derive consistency of healthy uh, compounding over a longer period of time right that's not gambling for you and hence uh, gambling is not for wealth compounding now 
as a result when you look at equities when you look at your portfolio whether it be with a particular product whether it be direct equities whether it be one stock several stocks whatever it is when you look at equities and consider profit booking you have to evaluate luck versus fundamentals very clearly in your mind right if you believe you are playing with pure luck you don't have any clue whether there is a difference between a yes bank and an hdfc bank or not you have no clue whether whether nifty is a high quality index or not right you have no clue whether there is a, there is difference between a 5% return on capital company versus a 30% return on capital if you have no clue about all of that uh, there is no fundamental reason for investing in a particular product or a stock etc uh, you have no trust in the fund manager or whatever be the reason if you are playing on pure luck in equities it makes sense to do what you are doing in the gambling scenario but remember if you are doing that you are not there for wealth compounding you are probably playing on luck and probably having fun and yeah maybe you protect your capital make some money and 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 have a joy ride but for wealth compounding right it has to be a lot more tangible fundamental reason why you have invested and if that reason exists hasn't changed it doesn't mean you start booking profits just so that you get some money in your hand right so so that's that's how i would sort of come up uh, within within with an explanation to that uh, psychological challenge